Hey guys, so this is kind of like an update of some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, adding new functions and stuff to my library for physics, uh, effects, sounds, etc. And uh, it came out looking pretty nice. It's it's like a platformer game. It's not really a game though, it's more like a, a showcase sort of. Um, just testing out all my stuff. But it's uh, it has platformer physics. Even though I really don't like platformer games, it was um, it was more fun to program it than, than uh, wanting to actually make a game out of it. But here you can see um, I have uh, dynamic platforms. So if you have long beams, they get turned into these pillars. Um, squares get turned into their own thing, and rectangles as well. The uh, trees, vines, bushes, and that are all randomly generated because. Placing them was uh, really boring and monotonous, and I thought random generation was just a lot easier. And uh, I think it looks okay. Uh, maybe if it too many vines, I might have went a little bit overkill on that. But, yeah, they're okay. Uh, I got wall jumping, wall slides, effects on all that stuff. Um, here, I'm, I was going to work on like um, drawing stuff, but like I said earlier, it just was really boring. So I ended up not doing it. And um, this is what it would have looked like placing things one by one. Very boring. Um, so here are some entities, which for now are just like things that follow the player and they'll just chase them around. Not much else to them right now. Um, they also have their own effects for walking, um, jumping, things like that, bumping their head on, on stuff. So. That's pretty cool. They'll try and chase the player, um, and they'll jump after him too, climbing up stuff. But, I mean, they're that's about as far as their intelligence goes. They're not too smart, really. Yeah, so here's some um, Goku ones, obviously. Uh, if You know, I was just having fun. I like Dragon Ball Z, and there's a bunch of free sprites online, high-quality ones. So I thought I'll just put a few in there just for fun. And, uh, you know, they look fine. You know, it's I'm not a spriter. I'm not good at making my own sprites. So everything you see in here is just stuff I Googled online and threw together. Um, I'm not very talented in the, the <laughs> spriting, so as good as it gets. Um, but yeah, I mean... Uh, they, I think they would look fine. They function fine. They're, they all have their own um, collision data and stuff, so they all collide um, uniquely. Uh, this is from like Doom 64. It's uh, some kind of demon, but he's got his own cool effects where he'll uh, make dust when he stomps, and he'll also shake the screen, which is cool. And like I said, with the collision, you know, he'll have his own, so he can jump up over stuff. And uh, uh, he's got a really big collision box, so if he were to run into anything, he'd probably get stuck. But it's just that one's just mostly for fun. I thought it would be cool to add those effects to that sprite. So here we got um, some projectiles. Um, they have their own physics as well. Uh, I think I have three, a rock, grenade, and a basketball, because of course, um, they all have their own attributes. So I just set the ba basketball to be really bouncy, and then you give it a basketball sprite and you're good to go. And uh, you know, they, they also inherit the um, uh, velocity of the player when they're thrown, so if you're going really fast and you throw them, they're going to be thrown a lot faster. So you can get some really high air on them. I'm just going to mess around with uh, just throwing a bunch of stuff, trying to get it through that little crack there.
Also, I should say the sounds are coming from FMOD, and I wrote a really simple uh, class wrapper for it, which I'll probably be uh, releasing on the forums or something, because I I could find results in Google for, for other ones, but I couldn't actually find the scripts, so I had to make my own. So I, it might be useful maybe for me to release that. So I'll try and do that. Um, if I if I do, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, you can have a lot of a lot of uh, projectiles. Um, it's just kind of fun to play with. So here I found a <laughs> little bug here when I uh, early on I was working on a dash function and I kind of forgot about it until I was making this video and uh, I'm making a lot of use of it now and. <laughs> There, it's really a simple function, it just moves the X position, so of course you go straight through stuff. Or not, it doesn't move the X position, it actually just increases X velocity by a really high amount, which causes your player to go through things. Yeah, just run around here. You can do uh, wall jumps up stuff if you have two things next to each other, it's faster to jump off one than the other and so forth. This is where I was doing most of my testing, up in this upper left corner here. So the platforms scale with how I'm drawing them. The bigger they are, the kind of worse they look. So I try and make them all uh, on the smaller side because they're it's just stretching a, a um, single image and it just looks really bad. I mean, it works, you know. It just looks awful. So I've loaded up a new, uh, I guess I reloaded the program, really got rid of everything uh, that was there before, so that I can just throw in a bunch of um, entities and uh, just see how they they run around with a bunch of them on screen. Um, I should say the performance is about 2 milliseconds draw time uh, normally, but it does increase a lot when I have my my little dev menu open here because the um, drawing the transparent box is really costly uh, because I haven't really optimized uh, a better function for it yet. But uh, yeah, with all these entities, it looks like it moves the uh, frame time up to about 2.5 to 3 milliseconds. So they're a bit costly. I, I could probably have. Um, I don't know, 30 or 40 on screen, no problem, but I, I wouldn't want to go much higher than that. Mostly because I think uh, it's probably the effects they create that are um, causing the most frame time. Is that every time they, they move, they create their own uh, travel effects. Also, when they're all jumping at once, it, it doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Just too many jump sounds at the same time. But they're created uh, with random stats, so some are faster than others, and this uh, this kind of shows these four were the fastest of all of them. Uh, but that's pretty much it for now. Um, I realized while I was making this that I wanted to actually start working on a different game, because like I said earlier, I really don't like platformers, and I learned a bunch of new stuff while making this that I'd like to apply to another project. So this is probably where this one will end, but it was a lot of fun making it, and I hope that you guys found this video interesting, and hopefully it inspires you to uh, make more stuff with AutoHotKey, because it's really, really fun. 
Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later.